Hey guys, it's Wednesdays with Chase, and this week's topic is stereotypes. So I'm really not in the mood to be dressed up and hide my pimples. Look at this shit, like really? Also, I'm extremely sick. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm sick. But anyways, let's talk about this week's topic, stereotypes. Now, the angle that I want to put on this will obviously be trans. What I'm going to be discussing in this is basically that there are so many stereotypes from the word trans that are associated with trans people. Now, I'm gonna make these extremely, I'm gonna make these, <laughs> I'm gonna make this extremely brief. Basically, what I'm referring to is that when people say trans, people automatically assume that it means transsexual, which automatically assumes that you don't want your boobies. I'm talking about trans men here. You don't want your boobs, or if you are a trans woman, that you want boobs, and that you want a penis, or if you are a trans woman, that you want a vagina. It is extremely inappropriate to make these assumptions, and I think it's a, is this more assumption or stereotype? So these are stereotypes. Everyone thinks like this. It's so stupid. The fact that, yes, we always relate this to cis privilege, but the fact that when I tell somebody that I'm trans, the first question that pops out, did you get the surgery? How many times do I have to say, what is the surgery? Like, really? Have you Googled it? Do you know what the surgery is? I don't either. Maybe we should talk. The stereotype that is in the trans community. Don't you love that there are stereotypes in the trans community from other trans guys that are like amazing? So it's a, from the, I'm gonna say more conservative transsexual aspect. These m transsexual men, not all of them, of course not. I'm making a big assumption over here. I'm just trying to say that I've had a lot of shit from only, from people in the community who are transsexual men. Those are the people who I've had the most trouble with and they just basically, don't acknowledge the fact that it's okay to be different. And I think that's a really big stereotype. You are allowed to be feminine and be trans. Let's also uh, just put a little note in there that as trans, I'm sliding. As trans, I am actually meaning like trans with the little star, like transgender. That is the word that I feel that anybody and everybody should have an association with trans. But no, everybody just thinks it's transsexual and we all want to change our sex. Can I just say that the sign for like transgender in sign language is like this, which means like sex change. And then there's also this, which is like change of heart, which I think is extremely inappropriate as well. Cause you're not really changing your heart, right? You're changing your body to fit your heart. That was just a little random piece of information, but I feel that it's okay to be flamboyant. And I mean, I don't, I don't it's not my like, I feel like I'm the only one, no. Everybody knows that it's okay to be flamboyant and be gay, trans men. Oh my god, there's such a stereotype that you can't like boys if you're trans. I know so many queer little, mm, little trans boys. Any of them think I'm amongst them, I wonder why. I apologize for Mexico being outside of my door. It's very hectic today, I feel like poop. Anyways, this video is very short. Um, <laughs> look, I'm gonna tell you something. I feel that a lot of trans people, even transgender people, think that a lot of trans guys just want a mustache. I don't want a mustache right now. I really don't like the facial hair that's growing on my face right now. Actually, to be completely honest. But I'm not alone in this. Okay, I'm sorry about that. that was, this video sucks, guys. I'm really sorry. Like, I really don't feel well. Please, like, compensate me with me. I will make an amazing video next week. I need your help with something. We are missing a couple of advice weeks, so please, if you have any ideas for advice that you need, put it down there. Oh my god, that's like my cleavage right there. Oh. Anyways, guys, that's it. If you have any other questions, please, I don't, I don't know what to talk about. Go on Twitter, go on Tumblr, I'm everywhere. I'm sorry that this video was so bad, but please, stereotypes, like, let's just let it all go.